This video is brought to you by Squarespace. My heart's a little bit dizzy since you spread your magic like a pixie. My whole world, my whole world spinning round and round and round and round your tongue. <laughs> oh, cute. Hi guys, welcome to day five at the hospital. We have had quite the crazy week. If you missed our last video, we are currently, we are parents. We've had a baby. <laughs> We've had a baby girl on Tuesday night at 7.44 p.m. She was born. She was 3.5 kilos, 51 centimeters, and she is so, so cute. We love her so, so much. <laughs> So after my night's sleep on Tuesday, I woke up on Wednesday morning with the best news. It is now June 3rd, so our little baby is less than 24 hours old and got a call from the hospital today saying, I kid you not, that they've lifted a lot more of the visiting restrictions today. So rather than me just being able to come in from 11 till 12 and then six till seven, I can come in for full visiting hours. And then they changed it and he could come for a 12 hour block, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I called Steven straight away and he came rushing in. He grabbed Hunter and sat on the chair and I captured such a cute photo. I feel like it was the moment Steven realized he was going to be a dad. It's like my favorite photo. It always makes me cry whenever I look at it. <laughs> so seeing as it is now Friday, we actually kind of thought we would be home already seeing as Jess got induced on Monday, but there has been a couple of issues we've been dealing with. So the main issue that I've been actually having is with her feeding. I um, had no idea, but I've been diagnosed with a rare condition with my nipples and it's been affecting my breastfeeding. And you're probably wondering where Hunter is right now. So she was, um, we've been checking up on her because she really wasn't interested in feeding as well. And we found out that she had a little mild infection. So she's currently in the nursery. She's on a little IV and she had to have antibiotics, but we had some good news because they told us that she was gonna to have to be in the nursery for 48 hours and she's getting better so quickly that she gets to leave after 24 hours. So this afternoon she gets to leave the nursery and come back in my room and I'm so excited. But we're now off to go and feed her. You put one of these in, so it's like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, Morning sunshine. Just need to check your temperature. So we put it under. She doesn't like it that much. Put it underneath. It's a little bit cold. And then we close it. 36.8. She's a little she's, hot. No, no she's meant good. to be 36.5 to 37.5. Oh, perfect. Yeah. You're nice and cozy. This little sloffy. This is the little sloth outfit. Oh, Steve. Let's see her little belly button. Umbilical cord's still on there. Hello. Good morning. Oh my goodness, I've woken you up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look Daddy, inside you your nappy. Yeah, yeah. Nappy oh, check time. Yeah. Change her anyway, I think, to wake her up a bit. Huh? Oh, look at her little foot thing. So we'll take this off. This is for her to check her heartbeat. Yeah. My heart was going pretty good. So let's see if there's a poop. Oh my gosh, there's a big poop. You did a big poop. Yeah. It's funny how everything's still exciting. Like, oh my gosh, yeah. a poop. <laughs> Guess who just got her little nose thing out? Yay! <gasps> <laughs> You don't want to kiss me? <laughs> okay. Oh, ready? Oh, she's doing she's a little feeding. sucking. Good girl. See, food is nice. Food is so good. Is it weird seeing your feet and not just falling asleep? <laughs> so good. She's so awake. Oh, this makes daddy happy. <laughs> See, she likes to stare again into your eyes. Yeah, it's so good. She's trying to poop. Another high, another low. Above the noise of stuck below. Don't lose your spirit. Way down and out of steam. Storm around has got you beat. Don't lose your head. So real quick. I want to show you this little clip. We've been calling Hunter our little sloth because her favorite sleeping position right now is curled up on my chest. 
I even, to commemorate the moment, went and bought her a little sloth onesie, which is way too small for her. like a eerie calm before the storm. First of all, waking up this morning and it was just me inside the house. Of course, due to um, what's going on in the world at the moment, I'm not allowed to stay at the hospital. Kind of just took it all in today, walked around the house, prepared her nursery, got our first kind of family pajamas ready for our first night because today we're bringing her home. Are you going to let us go home today? It's Sunday after all. Good morning. Are you ready to go home today? We just wanted to say a huge thank you to our friends over at Squarespace for continually partnering up with us and supporting this channel. If you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform where you can easily put together a website or domain in moments. We've been using Squarespace this year to put together beautiful blog posts of our travels and experiences. And we are so happy that now we can use their award-winning template to put together blog posts of our time as a family. If you've never used Squarespace before, they have hundreds of designer templates ready for you to use. So whether you want to show your travels or if you want to show your baking that you've done that week, it is so easy to use, especially with their automated built-in features. So once you've published a blog post, it will easily go out to your Facebook, Twitter, and to your family members. So when you're ready to launch your website or domain, make sure you head to squarespace.com for your free trial. And I have a link in the description below where you can get 10% off your first domain or website. Now let's head back to the video. Guys, it is officially Saturday. We have our Stephen. Little it's Sunday. Oh, so it's Sunday. Uh-huh. I've been here for basically a whole week. Wow. Who's in the hospital for a whole week? Uh-huh. Literally Monday you came in. And no, to be honest, though, I bet you there's other people that have to stay way longer. So yeah. I should be happy. But we're just happy because she is healthy and happy and feeding and ready to go home. And she's back in our room last night. She came here and it was kind of cool because yesterday we learned how to give her a little bath. It was so cute. It was so cute. She kind of liked it. Oh no, she loved yeah. it. She just didn't like the naked bit. Yeah, I know. She loved the water. Do you want to stroke at the same time? Which way am I putting her that way? Yep. <laughs> Good morning. I'm free. <laughs> Look at you. So strip her off down to her nappy. Oh, there you go. So she's got a nice wet nappy. You know about the line. Oh, yeah, the she does. Oh, wow, yeah. So leave that on for now. Okay. Take it off. She'll just whittle all over. Yes. Yeah. She might be alright with her hair getting washed. So, so like this? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> so then you were saying earlier you just grab like a little bit of water. Yeah. That's so wet. Her hair, yeah. Oh. What's that like? Oh my gosh. Is this cool? Yeah. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, I always wonder if her head's still sore from the vacuum. <laughs> oh, she might be enjoying that. Kind of tell if she has curly hair or not. Mm -hmm. That's been the big question. Yes, yeah, it's a smile. Hair. <laughs> not a smile yet, yeah. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> so just like that. Okay. So firm enough that you can get any muck that's there. Yeah, and that's you're only using one bit. cotton wool ball per So eye. I could do one more if, if I feel like are. there was a bit yeah. more in there. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah. that was a little bit cold. Oh, she's trying to eat it. Look at you. Oh, and around here. Is it a bit cold? She Yeah. <laughs> you put something in huh? your mouth. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> so now, as we say, our bath is not yeah. Do you feel comfortable enough to let your hand go at the Oh, I, I do? Yeah, so let go. Oh. And now you've got that hand. Look at it. <laughs> I think she's gonna have curly hair. <laughs> oh yeah, I think that's curly hair. Yeah, 
think you're gonna let us go home today. You're looking very cute in your jammies. Show them the little like meme you sent to the family. <laughs> okay. It was like Hunter pondering when she wants to leave the hospital. Hunter deciding that she wants to stay for an entire week. <laughs> It's going to be strange. You're going to go outside for the very first time. You don't even know what the outside feels like. Oh, yeah, you should document it. It is currently... We had a sunny week all week. The day it starts to rain is the day you're going home. That's yeah. why we put her in her little... Little jammies. Oversized, too big, comfy pyjamas. <laughs> you're just so happy now. Such a dad moment right now, trying to get out of the hospital. I've got... How many things and what are you holding right now? Just the most important things. A very sleepy baby. <laughs> we came in without a package and now we're leaving with a little package. Welcome home, Hunter. This is so weird. I can't believe I'm home. It's been a week. It looks really clean. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, first night at home. Hey, baby. Have you just claimed the big bed because <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get you a bassinet for you to just come chill with us? How cute she is. <laughs> <laughs> Machine. <laughs> That's her saying that it's food time. Yeah. Hey, baby. Do you want to eat? Because you kind of <laughs> need to eat. <laughs> it's a hard life being a newborn, isn't it? <laughs> Mom and Dad need to feed you. And you're choosing sleep and farts. <laughs> Stretch. <laughs> Oh, oh, now you want food. Morning. <laughs> morning. All right. Let's get you some food. Okay. Got a little baby bear. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is dangerous. One week being a parent and... Already matching. Already got our matching <laughs> family <laughs> pajamas. This is dangerous, but... It's finally time to put her... In her bassinet for the very first time. It was so surreal. She is so sleepy. Right. <laughs> time to go inside a little sleeping sack. What do you think? I think she just wants her <laughs> arms up in the air. Bye bye arms. You lose arm privileges because we found out that um, those arms wake yourself up. <laughs> <laughs> She loves touching her face. Bye bye arms. Bye bye arms. Bye bye arms. Big yawn. Aww, good night. I can't stop kissing her little cheeks. Good night. Feel good to be home. Yes, I was just saying to Stephen, I feel like the weirdest part of the whole week was that was the longest that Stephen and I have ever been apart. Like not sleeping in the same bed or anything. For how long? Wow. Like years. 10 years or something like that. And I think that was the hardest part. So every night when Stephen would have to leave, it just, that was like the, the suckiest part. But what we would do is we would always call each other and then Stephen would put on Stephen MasterChef and he would cook dinner in front of FaceTime, wear his little chef hat, and then Hunter and I would just watch him cook. And I feel like that was like <laughs> my favorite part of each day. So it actually feels so nice to finally be in the same house all together. But it's crazy that just one week ago, we were like walking down the beach. Trying to get into labor. <laughs> trying to get into labor. It didn't work. All right, trying to walk this baby out now. Work. Wow. <laughs> one week later, we are here in the house. This is so cool. But this is definitely not how we anticipated our first week going. So um, I hope you enjoyed us kind of like filming around the hospital while she was in the special ward area. But yeah.
thanks so much guys. We're and, all good and all healthy now. Yeah, it's all good now. But thanks so much for watching and I'm sure we have so many fun videos coming your way. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!